Welcome to the Tap and Barrel in Vancouver's Olympic Village, where we're at the epicenter of BC's craft beer boom. I'm Jan Zeschke of Brewed Awakening at theprovince.com slash beer, and I'm here to review another of the province's fabulous craft beers. Ever since these buildings started going up for the 2010 Winter Olympics, development hasn't stopped, with high rises and condo towers rapidly creating a new community on this side of False Creek. But there's also been a huge boom in the number of breweries in the area. There are now five within short walking distance from here, and at least another two scheduled to open soon. Tap and Barrel offers an overview of where BC's rapidly expanding craft beer scene is at, with 24 taps pouring a range of styles from breweries across the province. So let's go see what's pouring today. All right, Jan, so uh, next up for you, we've got uh, Parallel 49 Brewing Salty Scott. Mm, sounds good. What kind of style is that beer? It's, uh, it's a take on a wee heavy, which is a very malt forward beer. Uh, this beer definitely has lots of caramel in it, and then it kind of finishes with a nice little salt touch. A bit of salt at the end, that's interesting. Um, well, yeah, well, why did you choose that for, uh, for the top and bottom? It's, it's, wonderful. it's a wonderful beer, first off. Um, and secondly, it works great with the end of the fall season, kind of warms you up right before winter. It does kick in with a 7.5% alcohol, which is also nice on a cold day. Okay, yeah, I'll take some of that, please. Done. <laughs> Thank you so much, beer. Thank you. Well, I'm delighted to be joined here by the Parallel 49 brewmaster, Graham Witt. He actually made this beer, the Salty Scott. Good to see you, Graham. Good to see you, Ian. So uh, tell me a little bit about this beer. Uh, what's the history behind it? Uh, it's kind of more a desserty beer. Mm -hmm. Like it's a little sweeter, uh, it's a little stronger. Uh, it's seven and a half percent. It kind of developed once, uh, one day when I was sitting at the taste room at our, at our brewery, having kind of after work beer. And uh, this lady was sitting next to me, suggested we make a salted caramel beer after, I, I guess she likes the desserts and stuff. Sure. Uh, and I thought, okay, those flavors would work really well in beer. Uh, and no one seems to have made a beer using salted caramel. So I thought, okay, well, let's, let's streamline this thing and make this beer. And uh, a strong scotch ale kind of mm -hmm. has these caramel notes that work really well uh, with that flavor. Mm -hmm. So we went ahead and made the beer and then got the salt kind of just, you know, just right. And then uh, it's, it's been a huge success for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, take a whiff of it, see what's going on. You got some really deep malty notes. There's some lovely, um, lovely caramel and toffee and things like that. It's um, some fruitiness in there as well, eh? Yeah, we try to use a whole spectrum of caramel malts. Mm -hmm. So you get some of these kind of caramel, lighter caramel notes, toffee notes. And then the kind of darker raisiny dark fruit notes as well, mm -hmm. uh, okay. and that, that's kind of like the, the the sweetness. And we use a bit of uh, uh, caramelized sugar as well. Okay, okay. Well, let's take a sip. Wow, that's so lovely, so rich, so many layers of malt as well. And you even a kind of sort of breadiness and a biscuitiness to it as well. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's all about malt. There's you pretty much just had a bit of hops for bittering. Sure. But the main focus here is the, the malts and then and the salt comes into play as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's lovely. And a really good food beer, I would imagine, as well. You just get that little bit of salt in the end. Yeah, uh, we've, we've done this in beer pairing dinners uh, with uh, desserts commonly. Mm -hmm. But uh, the this, this salt kind of gives it that savoriness. Mm -hmm. So without it, uh, we get a taste of the brew without salt. Uh, it's a little sweeter. Then you add that salt, and it kind of brings a savory mm -hmm. component to the beer. Lovely. So it works well for quite a, quite a few dishes. Sure, no, it's tasting great. With the Parallel 49 Salty Scott from the Tap and Barrel Olympic Village, I'm Jan Zeschke for the province, Brewed Awakening, province.com slash beer. Cheers. Cheers.